1,050 degrees? Holy smokes, that's ultimate grilling. You really can't talk about the ultimate grilled foods without talking about what the ultimate grill is, the hibachi. It's a really amazing grill from Japan. It holds onto a bunch of heat with Binchotan coals at really high temperature. It's got some nifty little vents here which help you control the temperature and maybe a hot and cold zone. What it's best at is precision grilling for a bunch of skewers. But really, all it does is produce a bunch of heat at high temperatures for little skewers. What we've got here is the ultimate DIY hibachi made with about 25 bucks worth of bricks from bucks. your local Bleep Depot. It's outperforming our $800 hibachi grill. We've got cold zone workstation, we've got our serving zone, super hot zone, and our, you know, resting glazing zone. And you can build it anywhere. We're gonna show you how to make one. This is the hibachi grill, and this is kind of the gold standard of hibachi grills. It's really good at holding onto a bunch of heat at high temperature, but it's $600. Now I'm getting annoyed that we even own this thing. Here's our mission. We need to have super high heat and temperature, variable sizes, it's gonna be cheap, and we're gonna do it fast. Let's revisit that V1 we did on the grill. The turkey yakitori? Yeah. We're gonna build the ultimate one right after this, because this one's gonna work, but it's not gonna be ultimate. Okay, so these are the parts from our DIY pizza. Normally when we do the pizza oven, this is the top and this is the deck or vice versa, whatever. Now we're gonna use the whole thing as a base. We know we want a long and skinny thing. We know we want some vents. And I think that's like too wide. Cause you want it as tight as possible. I think yeah. a lot of times people overexpose yeah. yeah. the skewer. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. what yeah. burns. Yeah. 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 Part of the high heat and high temperature is having the food as close to the red hot coals as possible. Here's an example. These are all red hot and there's a lot of them. So we got a lot of high heat. If I build my grill, you know, this high and my little foods up here, that's not like precision grilling because it's gonna get colder the further away from the source. So one of the cool things about precision grilling is you go super hot and you can kind of get that precision temperature and then you can move the food away or move it up or move it to the side. I think if we put the air vents on one side, it might make the build out a little uneven. This is the spacing. That's okay. Or no. Let's try it. Let's try it on one side. Yeah. Let's start Let's there. Let's try it. We're just moving bricks. Let's just move bricks. And if we really just keep going, that's our minimum viable hibachi. You can close that. So you have Which a vent here. You can go for maybe a vent. double vents. Oh, here. got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. I like that. It's a little baby vent. Like the smaller they are, they're more like, <laughs> like jet stream vents. Whoa, bro, it's like limousine of hibachi girls over here. This is like resting zone that you had, right? And maybe yeah. one more brick. Dude, I like this. this so cool. that's cute, huh? You could even put your beer because it's protected from the hot zone. Koozie. Yeah, koozie. You could like Instagram story what? your food. Oh, dude. It's a reels holder <laughs> with a vent. And we've got cold cooking zone, holding zone over here. So like a workstation can go like this way. It goes that way. Yeah. If the food gets there, you win. I'm just having a thought. Does it make sense to do hottest realistically over here or hottest in the middle, you think? Like cold, warm, wicked hot? Or hottest in the middle? Let's see what that might look like. So if we did cold, like this, leave the vent, leave that, could even. And then we have the height that we want. Yeah. And then we've got the same width, but it's easy to modify later too. Raw zone, because I got all your raw skewers here and the built-in beer cozy. Warm zone, this is where you rest your skewers. So cold to hot, and you can have another zone here to rest glazy stuff if you really want. And this is gonna be our super hot zone. And then a vent here, whoop, and that's it. I think this is the one, and we're gonna fire it up and cook a bunch of We gotta try it out. Yummy we'll try it out. food. So let's fire this thing up. We lit 
our beach are on about 45 minutes ago and they're getting hotter and hotter and hotter like a lot of grilling you want to wait till the coals are really really hot and they're full bore so from here once you get your coals going that's when you dump it into the hibachi grill all right let's grill some skewers these are nick's adana kebab adana kebab so nick's been working on a whole skewer project i've got some yakitori stuff coming it says high 1036 too high 1100 so yeah we're super hot it's not going to be any amount of less heat than the super expensive one that's the beauty of it because all that heat and temperature comes from the, the cold should we get some meatballs going let's get the meatballs ah! this is what we're after this is what you want in a food result on a hibachi grill you have really small foods all these things prawns chicken scallops little tiny meats and the smaller something is the more precise heat energy it takes to get a great glazy or crispy exterior before you overcook the inside so we've got our really good whoa chicken meatball super light crispy glazy outside juicy inside oh my god you can't do that and then you have super high heat a lot of it mm. and precision grilling yum that's amazing what there you have it now you can make your very own hibachi for less than 25 bucks in about five minutes go to chefs.com get the full instructions learn how to make all these amazing skewers that nick's working on like the adana kebab learn how to make turkey tori and while you're at it Go make the pizza oven too. If you get the bricks for that, which is again like 30 bucks, you could even make this whole thing. And again, part of a house. See you at Chef's Apps. That's a tip and trick. Slow it up. <laughs> okay. It's so spicy. Subscribe to our channel and visit chefsteps.com for more tips, recipes, guides, and tools to help you level up in the kitchen.